Identifying your skills. Soft skills. Soft skills are the abilities and characteristics one has or needs to work well with other people. Soft skills include being energetic and having a positive attitude. Positive attitude. When you have a positive attitude, you think good thoughts and believe that everything will be okay. It's important to have a positive attitude at work. Good work ethic. A good work ethic is the ability to work hard and the desire to do well at your job. Having a good work ethic can help you get promoted or moved into a better job. Energetic. If you are energetic, it means that you have a lot of energy and are very active. Being energetic is a useful skill when working with groups of people. Flexible. Being flexible means that you can deal with change easily. If you have a job where things change often, it is helpful to be flexible. Working in groups also requires flexibility. Teamwork. Teamwork is the ability to work with other people to complete a job or project. Teamwork is an important soft skill to have when you're in school. Hard skills. Hard skills are things that you can do and abilities that you have related to doing work. Being able to work on a computer or to work on machines are hard skills. Computer skills. If you know how to work on a computer, then you have computer skills. This hard skill is important to have while in school and at many jobs. Organized. Being organized means that you can keep things in order. If you are organized, you will have an easier time getting work done and not missing any deadlines. Bilingual. Being bilingual is the ability to speak two languages. Many companies want workers who are bilingual. If you are in the idea class, then you are becoming bilingual. Mechanical. Having mechanical skills means that you have the ability to fix things like cars and machines. Mechanical skills are very important for some jobs, but not for others. Electrical. Being able to work and understand electricity means that you have electrical skills. If you do not have electrical skills, then you should call an electrician if you need help. The end.